Hello guys and welcome to another Nebrainy Valorant educational video. Today I'm gonna talk about a topic that is so sensitive either for me or for the community or for anyone who's gonna watch it is depression. I'm gonna link it to gaming like in not in a way that gaming is affecting it but in a way that gaming could actually help with it help deal with it. Even though a lot of studies can blame gaming for depression just from the sole argument that is that gaming reinforces isolation and isolation might like make your depression worse and shit like that yeah yeah well we can say that but we c there are a lot of other things where gaming could be really helpful like gaming will help with your depression first of all mental health recovery like regardless of the type of the game that you're playing either Valorant or any other game it can help you recover like what is the sole reason for it that it can help you recover? It's as acting as a distraction from pain and the psychological trauma. This is something that I used to do and I don't know if I'm still doing it like that, like it's a shield or something. But gaming for me has helped me a lot, a lot, a lot. Forget about my problems, to forget about the things that I'm dealing with internally or externally. And yeah, it really helped, man. It really helped. It didn't worsen it at all, man. At all. If it did worsen it, I wouldn't be playing after like one year and a half or actually two years or something like that. And I mean, people with mental disorders like anxiety, depression, ADHD, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder or post-traumatic stress disorder like PTSD. Video games like can provide a connection when you're playing the right game for you. Because for me, Valorant seems like like the right game totally the right game for me where, where you feel like you are part of a community uh, well we might say a community where like-minded people who value your participation and share your goal within the game I can feel that with my friends I can feel that with my brother who I play my game with I can feel that with certain people in Valorant yeah you can feel like you are with like-minded people people that I'm really grateful to meet and also the main reason which is as a therapeutic distraction that could help like regulate your mood even make you happy even evoke joy like getting an ace getting a 4k the adrenaline rush and shit like that you know second of all people who are dealing with depression or people who are dealing with mental health problems like might not interact much with people so multiplayer or online games could be really good for a virtual social interaction even though sometimes the social interaction virtually isn't as good as one might think like for the problems that well we've talked about them in the previous videos like racism or even toxicity or a lot of other things but you just it just multiplayer games really encourage cooperation like for example, Valorant, the game we're playing, it's a tactical shooter. You need cooperation. You need people to play with you. You need people to help you. You need people to... You need you need a team, you know? You need a team. You might find a friend. You might find, like, I mean, a squad even. And like that, you're interacting with people. Yeah, you might interact with bad people, but that's a part. That's a part of socializing, you know? So I think the social interaction part of gaming will help, will help with your depression one thing that i've learned so that you can succeed in life you have to fail and now while you're playing games you might be failing in a lot a lot a lot of situations and you might you might get frustrated it really can be frustrating now you have to learn cope with the failure and keep on trying so that you're not hard stuck and this is really important for people who struggle with mental health issues are not emotionally resilient you know what i mean are not emotionally resilient so this really could help you have to set limits okay you have to set limits for you i'm i'm totally with gaming can help with your depression gaming can help you gaming can do a lot of good things but it can be bad for you all right it can be like you have to set limits because through video games even though they're good for your mental health, even though they're gonna do all of these things, but if you become addicted to it, you need to be around people in the real world, bro. Okay? Spending too much time with yourself, isolated, you're only chatting with one guy, and one guy only, that's the devil. 
that's your devil thoughts that's the shit that your head is saying one time you're gonna be fighting it second time you're gonna win the third time you're gonna win fourth time you're gonna win the arguments fifth time you're gonna lose and when you lose an argument to yourself that's the worst thing that can happen all right when you start feeling that you're using video games as a pure escape from reality well you might need to slow down bro you might need to slow down because that's a thing okay so for this video what i want to tell you is i'm not gonna talk about my personal life much i will be sharing a little bit but i really don't like to talk a lot about my personal life i've struggled with this this is all i can say that i've struggled with this i don't know if i'm still or not I'm, i really don't know but i've struggled with this and trust me it is very annoying it is very bad and it can lead to things that that you you will really not like and when that feeling you know the feeling that you have at 3 a.m 2 a.m 1 a.m where you are in a dark room listening to music a playlist a sad playlist on youtube reading the comments and just listening or looking at your wall in the dark and thinking of it that happened in your life regrets people stabbing you in the back and things like that things that led you to your depression ah oh, man i just and i don't know if this is true i don't know if this is a definition of depression but i heard from a guy who said i have it all i have a lot of things everything that i needed but i'm not happy I have it all but I still feel feel like something is missing from me. I have a good good girl, I have money, I have a car, I have a house, I have this, I have that. But I really I don't know why I'm not happy. I don't know why I cry at night every day. I don't know why I do this, I don't know why I do that, I don't know why I, do. I don't know if that's depression or no, but I would really love to see your opinion on that. I am an anesthesiologist, so I'm like mainly healthcare mainly things that are yeah so not much of a psychologist kind of guy but i love all of this i've read a lot a lot a lot of books but i still can't figure out this depression kind of feeling like from where does it come what the fuck is this shit you know things like that so yeah guys please 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 listen to me i've this is the last thing i'm gonna say before i can end this video i have asked uh people in my game would you guys l love to subscribe to my youtube channel it might be interesting for you well i do videos and things like this things like this things like this there was a girl she said uh nah bro thank you like yeah it's all right i'd rather watch my life like fuck he's like yeah i'd rather watch my life fall apart in front of my eyes man rather than watch your videos like i mean I was like, I should respect that, like, I, I, I shouldn't talk, you know, there are boundaries, there are things where you can talk, moments where you can talk, it could be like, getting the distraction needed from this game, you know, and she was getting the distraction, the distraction needed, she was getting fracked, she was being happy, she got an A, she got that, got that, and she was distracted, so, talking about it in the one escape people have from reality, is bad right so please just understand this people are struggling people are struggling with their own lives outside of this game outside of any other game okay so let them heal they're not going to heal by the game but just they're gonna forget if you just keep on stomping on people please don't man please this is all i gotta say if you're depressed reach out reach out please if you want to talk reach out if you want anything man just either you are a guy or a girl if you are a guy it's worse because you guys just have that one pride we guys just have that pride where we just don't talk about this shit please talk about it please talk about the things that you feel talk about that it's not a shame it's not something that's against the pride of someone it's your life bro all right thank you guys this was Nebrainy.